What's up guys, I'm going to start doing some tutorials um, because I have a lot of free time at the moment so I'm going to get started uh, with Photoshop and we're going to do a bit of like tracking in After Effects. Before I get started, um, you are going to have to make a new image uh, with a transparent background and I hope the tutorial's all right for you guys. You just choose a circle, uh, hold shift, click and drag out and it should make a circle and then go over to where it says fill where my arrow is and pull that down to 0% and the circle should disappear and then go over to layer click on layer and then click on uh, layer style and stroke and then uh, increase the size do like however big you want it the more you increase it the thicker the circle becomes and then pretty much all you have to do is just crop it so it fits like the whole image size and that is pretty much it that's as simple as it gets uh, just press enter to finish cropping and then so save your file or your image um, save it as a .psd so that when you import it into After Effects it has all the layers uh, I'll just quickly save this as circle tracking and then and yeah just check maximum compatible or whatever it says, maximum compatibility. And yeah, then we just go into After Effects. Um, and then, uh, well, we're in After Effects, so you just want to go to Composition, uh, New Composition, and then make it by like 720 by 480, because that's like HD YouTube. Um, and there, yeah, just make it like 20 seconds length, like time wise. And then all you're pretty good, pretty much gonna have to do is just import your clip. Uh, so you like file import and then find your clip. Um, I'll just do that now. It's just loading. Um, <coughs> <sighs> yeah, I'll just use a clip from a montage trader I've done and just put it into the composition and then go and find. Uh, your circle that you did in Photoshop, and then pretty much just um, go and reduce your timeline because now you've imported it, and just go in composition and then change the time to fit the clip, so you're not you don't have like all this like extra footage. And yeah, just go make it make sure it's um, 3D layer and motion tracking on and then go and click on the stopwatches next to is like position orientation and all that sort of stuff and yeah that's pretty much it and then you can just go through because you have the um, stopwatches like all highlighted every single time you go through a next frame which is just like on next that blue arrow uh, every single time you go through the next frame and you move the circle after Effects will create like a new keyframe, so it's like really, really simple to uh, like track the grenade. So just I'll just fast forward right now, so you don't have to keep watching me um, fail at doing it. But that's pretty much as easy as it gets in After Effects. You just uh, go through, make it big at the start, and then like decrease in scale as the grenade goes further away from the Spartan. And yeah, I'll just fast forward through this and yeah it's like I hope this tutorial is alright but anyway um, select all of your keyframes that you've made once you've done all the keyframes and then press F9 we're on your keyboard and it will turn all your little like diamond shaped things into uh, hourglasses which will mean that things much more smoother